Hey Soup, it's Claytano. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Welcome back as well. So, alright, so there's a couple things I want to go over with you today. And this is going to be really, really more geared towards like late game. So people like Guardian 1 and up. The reason why I want to make a video like this is because I found something really, really interesting out about arena defense. And I think you guys ought to know. So people trying to break into Guardian, people trying to, you know, eventually move to that point where they could then use this technique to their advantage this is what i want for you guys to do okay so it's no it's no fucking secret okay wait 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 stop everything hold on so i got this new webcam and i don't know if you guys can see it or not but you can see every fucking detail on my beautiful fucking face right now okay so shout out to new webcam and then second off as you can see i'm not wearing a fucking hat right now because i misplaced it during last week's live stream so I need to find that shit real bad, really, really bad, because my hair is like just morning hair right now. I've been working on this shit all night. Um, but anyway, aside from that, this is something really, 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 really crazy. You know, it's 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 absolutely no secret that my fucking runes are dog shit compared to other Guardian Three players. Okay, not not they're not. I'm not gonna say they're horrible, but they're just dog shit compared to everybody else's in the kind of level that I'm playing at. Okay. Now, aside from that, my monsters, I don't have so many, so many freaking options that I could just like use anything that I want, like pull Tiana out of my fucking ass, pull Alicia out of my fucking ass, pull Poseidon out of there, pull Libli, pull, you know, any of these other super relevant bomb type monsters right now that I wish I fucking had, but I don't, okay? So I can't just do that. But how does, how the fuck, tell me, tell me this, tell me this. How the fuck does this rank 8 happen? How does this how does this rank 7 happen? It really, really shouldn't. And for all the fuckers out there that say, oh, global is just the easiest fucking thing to get Guardian 3 in. No, fuck you. Asia, or, no, okay, so global has more players than any other server out there, okay? So more players means more competition, whether you're fucking Conqueror, Fighter, anything else. Nobody's gonna argue that. Asia, yes, they have a lot of really good players, but I don't think it's really any different between Global and Asia. Europe is a little bit more one-sided, I would say, but I think it's getting better overall. Now, this isn't a video about different servers and, you know, throwing shots back at each other, but I'm just saying that this is not an easy thing to do. This is not an easy thing to do, and for an account such as mine to accomplish this, it should really give you guys motivation and inspiration to be able to achieve it yourselves as well because it's really just strategy behind it okay so this okay this is my current rank right now obviously fighter 3 but it's you know arena reset so my stars aren't there anymore so you guys could just give me a fucking break on that right okay um, anyway so previous week rank 8 okay rank 8 now I attribute most of it to my 100% arena offense record now, that's not that impressive. The reason why is because i gotten a little bit lazy on using my wings lately. So what I do is I just, you know, just do like this. Like use maybe 10 wings a day and then call it a day. That's about it. When I should be using more wings, I should be using all the wings as they come because I still want to practice. I'm almost maxed out on my buildings, so I should still be working on my wings until I max out on my buildings. But... I don't because I'm fucking lazy and I'm fucking too busy doing other things. Okay, so anyway, aside from that though, 100% wins. That means during rush hour, I did not lose a single battle. And that is saying a lot. That's a really, really good way to finish a higher rank if you don't lose on your arena offense. I mean, that's pretty much common sense. But the thing that I found is that having not just one arena defense but two arena defenses makes a world of fucking difference a world of difference the reason why is because if you have one defense up the the start of rush hour now again this is this is more geared towards that later game players because well let me tell you the strategy first and then i'll tell you why it's more geared to, towards later game players and you might you guys actually might figure out why while i'm trying to explain it so you have one defense that you put in during rush hour so it hits like 12 you know and you put that defense in and really i guess you should really have three defenses so okay so weak weak game play weak game play 
you have one defense or you're, or you're trying to like test stuff out so it's always going to be a different mold of fuckery and you're going to be losing a lot of defense because you're trying things out okay now rush hour hits and it could be rush hour it could be two hours before it could be you know half hour before however long you do rush hour for you put in this main defense this main defense should be something that should I would say have at least a little bit of a win condition and by win condition I mean have something on the team that can kill the other team okay not just something that's gonna stall out because if you stall out you're gonna have people that are attacking you through the entire rush hour one battle and then they're all gonna fucking land on you with five minutes to go and you're gonna get fucked out of whatever rank you're in and you're gonna get hit boom 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 all at the same time you're gonna be like why the fuck did I get hit ten times in the last five minutes of rush hour? And this is fucking bullshit. Like fuck me. I'm I quit. I quit. I fucking rage quit. No. Okay. Expect that. You have to expect that. So whatever rank you're at, expect to get hit a lot unless you change. You have that win condition so that way people aren't slow rolling the fuck out of you the entire rush hour. And then I would say about fifteen to ten minutes to go left in rush hour you switch to a different type of defense. The different type of defense is gonna be more stall AD. So this is like when you throw your arena in, this is when you throw your tank Camila in, this is when you throw your, you know, your Ariel, your whatever other monster that you have that's really gonna stall the other fucking team out and make people not wanna hit you because you don't wanna be hit the entire last 15 minutes, if possible, like in a, perfect world but obviously it's still not gonna happen you're gonna get hit a couple times so aside from that though you want that to be the goal okay so what what this does switching out your defenses with 15 minutes left is it takes everybody that's hitting you normally like if you got a couple people couple single persons farming you as soon as you switch out that defense they might stop because they don't want to attack that type of defense but you still have the people that clicked on your name earlier in the in the rush hour that say i don't want to attack that defense so i'm not going to click on them in the last 15 to 10 minutes after they even change their ad so i, I don't i'm trying to explain it to you guys a little but i'm kind of getting caught up in my words here i, I don't know if you can tell or not but basically you have all the people that originally were attacking you before 15 minutes and then you have all the people that pulled up your arena defense and said i don't want to fight that shit in the hole leading up to the last 15 minutes and then you have the people that originally were fighting you and then see your defense switch because they're farming you and they keep clicking on your name they're like oh there's claytano i could fucking kill that guy in like two seconds let me click on his name again and then they see a different defense and it might deter them so really you're just deterring people and then the people that automatically don't click on your name because they saw your first defense they're like, hey, this, this, I don't like this guy. But then they don't even know that you put in that stall defense that they might actually be able to beat because they already thought that your first defense wasn't something that they want to do. So they're not going to even waste time clicking on your name. So if you can't, if you don't have people clicking on your fucking name, they can't fight you. Okay, so I really think that this strategy has helped me out in, in rush hour because there's no fucking there's no fucking way guys there's no there's no way there's no way that i should be ranking this high there's not there's not there's so many other people out there with way better mo way better moss way better runes everything that really comes down to strategy and there is it is possible to achieve these type of results with strategy it's there is more skill to this game than just rng i guarantee it and this this should be proof to you guys this should be proof right here okay so i'm not going to go over exactly you know arena defense mobs or anything like that i'm going to keep this video kind of clean and short um but again guys i think it'll i think it'll help you guys out a lot if you just have a couple different arena defenses i know there's not a lot of options but even if you change just one or two monsters to have it be stall versus win condition versus trying shit out during the week. I really think it's going to help you guys. And the reason why that this is more geared towards the late game players is because 
if you're in fighter, if you're in conquer, you're not gonna have the same person farming you all rush hour long. So they're not gonna be clicking on your name thinking, oh, I don't wanna fight that guy. That's that's why, because in Guardian, Guardian 1, 2, and 3, and Legend Rank, you're always you're gonna have a lot of the same people hitting you all rush hour long. So just think about that once you guys do get to that to that point in the game to just kind of try it out. Try it out. Alright? But aside from that, guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, guys. Um, hope you, hopefully you like this new webcam, because I do. It makes, I mean, just look at it. Look at it. Fucking pinch my cheeks. Pinch my cheeks. Okay. Anyway, guys, stay soupy. Don't be potatoes. Love you guys. So that's peace later. Bye. Uh, uh, lisp. Yeah. Okay, bye. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please up like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you want to see my previous video, you can click on the link or visit me on Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, I just started making t-shirts, so check out my website at www.claytano.com to see all of my gamer-inspired apparel. And as always, stay soupy and don't be a potato.